I'm Mike Sullivan and today we're at Pine Hollow Golf Club in Clayton, North Carolina and we're in the bunker. So let's work on those green side bunker shots. <laughs> Okay, so it's been a little while since we've really talked about stuff in greenside bunkers, so let's talk about that. We just want to work on getting better at this, and we're going to take this at first from the standpoint of we're in the bunker and we hate being in the bunker because a lot of times we don't get out. Okay, So the way we're going to get the ball out of the bunker is we're going to splash sand out of the bunker. I want you to think about the sand in the bunker like the water in a swimming pool. So if our golf ball was, let's say it was a floaty ball in a pool, and we took our arm and we just splashed that water out of the pool, right? So if we splash this sand out like water, the sand flies out of the bunker, well the ball is gonna just float out of the sand on a wave of sand, right? Okay, so let's try that. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the face of my sand wedge so it's pointing to my right as a right-handed golfer, and what that does is that activates the bounce of the bottom of the club, okay? You'll also notice that the ball is positioned well forward in my stance because I want to make contact with the sand. I'm not even worried about hitting the ball, and I'm just going to splash the sand out onto the green. Let's see what happens here. Look at that. Okay, right out onto the green. Not super close to the hole, but out of the green. Now, there's a skill associated with this. And what that skill is, is being able to splash the sand out in the right place. If I make contact too far behind the ball, then, well, that one I got lucky it got out, but I, I, I made contact way behind the ball and kind of sculled the ball. If I make contact with the sand too far forward, then I'm surely going to blade the ball out of there. So we need to be able to come kind of close to hitting our spot. So there's a way we learn this, this skill. I'm going to draw a line in the sand. I'm going to position that line in my stance where my golf ball would be, then open my stance a little bit and open the club a little bit. And I want to try to make contact with the sand right where this line is. So that was pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, behind it, so I need to keep practicing. Once we can hit this line on a regular basis, then we're going to go ahead and start putting balls up ahead of the line and see if we can hit a shot here. So that's about two inches ahead of the line. I don't even have to be that exact to get this ball out. Look at that. It started to get up, but I kind of missed. Let's try it again. That was a little lackadaisical, I would say. Let's try this again. There's my spot. Let's splash that sand out. I'm going to try to keep my weight a little more on my front foot, and I'm going to have a quiet lower body yet still accelerate. There we go. Okay, get up there. All right. So just remember, when it comes to being able to hit bunker shots, these greenside bunker shots, they're not that hard. We just want to splash that sand onto the green, open the club face, practice on a line to build the skill. Next thing you know, you'll be on the green every time. 